Welcome to the 53rd episode of the Can Learn Library here at the North Battleford Library. Well, we're in the kitchen, but we're not cooking today. We're going to try another craft. And I'm wondering if your grandma or a young mom, uh, if you've got some used crayons, the bits that are too small and uh, just uh, not sure what you could do with them. Or if you don't have any crayons, you could go out and buy a small box and just use the crayons. Well, I thought, I saw this on Pinterest, of course, and I thought we could make what's called, you can use crayons to create a color block candle. So you're gonna be using your crayons, some wax, wicks, and they are findable in uh, North Battleford. And um, we're gonna make them multicolored using the crayons as our color. Here's what you're gonna need to make it. Here are the materials you're going to need. You're gonna need some Dixie cups because we're gonna use that to melt our wax rather than a pot on the stove and it's, and we're gonna use the microwave. So that might be a little bit less of a mess. You're going to need, um, I chose soy wax, and this was already shredded, so I, I thought, oh, I'm gonna use that because it's shredded. We've got some crayons there. We've got some wicks. We've got, I have these two little glasses that I was given. So I thought, well, let's do it because you could put it into little metal tins or anything that's fireproof. We're gonna need some popsicle sticks to stir it. And then I kind of rigged up, a. Um, it says to use a plate holder, but I didn't really have that. So I'm using a book uh, stand with two uh, rulers to so that my candle will be angled because I wanted my colors to be angled and we're going to have to let them harden in between each pouring and that is all we need so far. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of wax into our Dixie cup and melt it because this is where we're going to attack oops We're going to attach the wicks to the bottom, so we just need a little bit of wax to melt it. So, it says a minute, but I don't know what their little bit is, so I'm going to just try, because I don't know how these um, shaved pieces of wax are gonna melt. We'll try it. So I think I gotta go high. We'll try 15 seconds. And if you're doing this with kids, you're probably gonna wanna watch because even though you don't have your stove on, the wax gets super hot. And uh, we'll find that out when we start pouring. So let's just see if it melted. Well, I guess maybe they're right about the minute. Let's try the minute. It didn't seem like it uh, did very much for 15 seconds. But I was able to get uh, most of my supplies at PV Martin here in town. I didn't know that they sold candle wicks and these will be trimming once we get them solid into the glass with the other colors of uh, wax. So we'll see here, I don't know why I'm feeling Still not mounting. Okay, it is much longer. Okay, my wax is melted. I'm just going to give it a little stir. And I'm going to pour it into the bottom here because that's what's going to attach it to the glass. Attach this here. So get it in there before it starts getting hard. Oops. Central, but it burns better. 
And now we have to wait for that to set. So we'll let that set a bit. And I'm going to peel the papers off the crayons. It recommends that you use one, one uh, crayon. I hope you can see that without too much glare, but maybe not. But I've got it almost full because as you know, the wax is gonna melt down and it says to use one crayon. So we're gonna microwave this for two minutes, then stir it and then microwave for another two minutes. Now, all diff people have different microwaves, so we'll try this and we'll see what happens after two minutes. I've got my little makeshift uh, tilter, and as you can see here, these have hardened up, and so hopefully the wick will stay in it. I've never really made candles before, so we'll find out. And this is doing its first two minutes. And then we'll mix, and then the next two minutes. And hopefully that'll be all the time that it'll need to, uh, to melt. Well, the four minutes didn't do it, so it's back in there for another two minutes. It seems like the, the wax, the soy wax, had no problem melting. Yet, uh, the broken up crayon seems to be resisting melting. And yet, that's how they showed to do it. So I'm wondering, should I have shredded it? If that would have made it go faster. But, well, we'll try another two minutes and see what happens. Okay, well it did take that extra two minutes. So I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. It looks like all the wax crayon has melted and I'm going to pour it in here at the angle. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oops. Uh-oh. It's kind of chunky in there. Hmm. Um. I guess maybe I should have, I don't know if you can see it, I should have probably did a little more, what if I mix it a little bit and pour that in there. Can I pour the wax back out and mix it in there again? It'd be like mixing cocktail drinks. Oops! Oh no. Okay. I think it's mixed up enough now. I will try it. It may not be the most beautiful candle, but there we go. Okay, so that's one layer of one. I'm going to do another one just so we can kind of have a contrast. Um, it says to wait 20 minutes, so we'll see if the 20 minutes makes the candle harden enough that we can do the next layer for the yellow one. Okay, we'll see you back in a It's weird how the blue one melted the crayon so much faster. But now it seems to be getting a scum, whereas the yellow one still sort of seems kind of watery. Okay, we'll see how they turn out when they harden, if they harden, and then we can melt our next layer. I've decided to um, try a little bit smaller pieces so that's what I've got in the microwave right now. And we'll try with the smaller pieces. Maybe it will melt better. Now, I've mixed up the pink and it worked good. I just had to do one extra minute to make sure I don't get the, the little pieces left. So I'm gonna pour that into the blue one here. And we're gonna let that one sit. Oh, it works much better when you cut the pieces even smaller. All right. Oh, that's great, because look at, I have no grunge left. Yay. Okay, so now, as you can see, we've got two layers in this one. So I'm going to put the final layer, and if you remember, we're going to set it so that it's level, because we want the last layer to be level, and then we're gonna let that one sit and trim the wick, and this one will be ready. This one's got to sit for a bit. So we'll just do that one off camera and I'll be back. 
Okay, I've done my orange. It seems like the orange, the yellow, and the green, the light green, anyways, took longer in the microwave. So I just kept microwaving till I'm hoping it's okay. This is my final layer for this one. So I'm going to just hold the wick. It's not quite central, but I think it's pretty close. So I'm going to pour in the final layer for this one. Oh, I do still have some grungies, but I don't know. It just, for some reason, those colors are not melting the same. So I think what I'm going to do is just put a knife on either side just to hold the wick up. And we'll let this set and this one set. And then I'll come back and finish that other one. We'll see you in a bit. Last layer we have here, and I'm going to put that into my pink and blue one. You can see the other one has kind of solidified off to the side, kind of gives a glare, so, but it is green, yellow, and orange. But here we're going to pour this, and that yellow seems nicer than the other yellow. And again, I didn't center my... <laughs> my wick too straight, but we'll see what happens here. We'll just let that before we trim the wick. So I'll wait a few minutes and I'll be back to trim them and light them and hopefully they light. Well, I have to say they look not too bad, but then I realized they probably should cure for at least a day before we light them. But anyways, I hope that you will try this. It was fun. Um, we'll see you next time for the Candler and Library. Take care.